I am a meta human. And this is the meta customization system. So what would you like me to be? An orc ready for battle? Or a lawless bandit from the post-apocalyptic wastelands? Anything is possible. The meta customization system adds real-time in-engine customization to your meta human. Hi guys, uh, welcome to this uh, final part on uh, the setup stage of the meta customization system. So um, in this tutorial, we're just going to be adding some more meta humans to our project so that we can have more customization options, different faces, different hairstyles, and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, after this tutorial, there will be some more tutorials uh, concerning other subjects such as uh, adding your own costumes and uh, setting up a new game if you are designing a video game or maybe using sequencer and so on and so forth. But uh, for the initial setup of the tools, uh, this will be the last one. Okay. Um, so on this part of the process, we're going to be adding some more meta humans, first of all. Okay. Uh, we've only got two meta humans. Actually, we've got three. I added this one while I was uh, uh, not recording, but I haven't done anything with it. Okay. Um, so mainly we have Hannah and Brian, the male and the female. So we're going to add a few more male meta humans and a few more female meta humans. Okay. Um, so I am going to uh, give you a little disclaimer right now. Um, we're going to have some intended errors in this video. Okay. Uh, don't do what I'm doing, but I'm going to deliberately uh, use some uh, meta humans which won't really be compatible with uh, our our current system. Uh, just to show you what happens if you use the wrong metahuman with the system, okay? Uh, by that, what I mean is, uh, I'll just show you here. If I go to Window, uh, Quixel Bridge, uh, you can also go to Window, Quixel Bridge. And uh, under Local Metahumans, uh, if that's where you're getting your metahumans from, I'm just going to choose my metahuman presets, which are already saved on my, uh, on, on my, rather, my metahumans, which are already saved on my computer. Uh, so I'll just wait for them to load up. Okay, there they are. Okay, so I've got plenty of metahumans here. Um, some compatible, some incompatible. Yeah, some are compatible, some are incompatible. But uh, the main thing uh, that I want to talk about here before we proceed is that uh, when you're using this system, you need to make sure that all your metahumans have the same body types, okay? If it's tall, medium-weight females, they should all be tall, medium-weight females. If it's uh, tall, medium-weight males, they should all be tall, medium-weight males, okay? And the tall medium weights are the ones which I recommend for this particular project. Um, if you do not plan on using the clothing provided in this project, then uh, you can use a different body type. But all of them have to be the same body type. As in, uh, if it's a short medium weight or a short overweight, then all of them should be short overweight or uh, anything else, um, that, that any other options that we might get, okay? Because if you mix the body types, then the heads won't match, okay? And that is an issue with metahumans because uh, a different body type will have a different uh, head setup. Um, it won't, a tall, medium weight metahuman will not uh, fit on a, will not, will, the head will not fit on a short, overweight metahuman. There will be misalignment, okay? So keep that in mind. For this tutorial, I recommend you just use tall, medium weight meta humans. Okay, uh, you should know how to set up set that up in the meta human creator. I'm pretty sure um, anyone who's used um, meta humans would have seen that in the creator. So just make sure you choose tall, medium weight meta humans. 
or at least choose the same body type for whichever meta humans you add here. But I am going to deliberately add some meta humans which are of different body types so that you can see the problem in case you have it and did not realize that you made a mistake, you will at least know what it looks like and you know how to fix it. Okay. Uh, because I have myself, I've made that mistake before. So um, I think it's good if you uh, see that in advance. So, okay, enough of the talk. Uh, let's go to the pro get to the process and try to get through it as quickly as we can. I've already got Hannah here. Um, so I want to add, I've got Brian. I want to add Jesse, first of all. Jesse has the same body type as Brian, so I'll add them that add him there. And the other thing is, for some reason, um, my old project file, I was able to use these metahumans, which are grayed out here. Okay, I have no idea why, but I was not supposed to be able to do that. Um, the reason they are grayed out is because they are an old version or an incompatible version. And when you mix uh, maybe 5.2 or 5.1 metahumans or Unreal Engine 4 metahumans with uh, 5.3, um, the grooms behave very, very strangely. Okay, the grooms, the hair. Okay, They'll be, the hair will be all over the place. It won't look like anything that it's supposed to look like. So do not mix... Uh, metahuman versions, okay? If you are using 5.4, all your metahumans should be 5.4. If you are using 5.3, all your metahumans should be 5.3, okay? I was going to show you that as well, but uh, it looks like uh, they are locked this time around, so I won't be able to show you that, but I will show you some different body types and the uh, incompatible results that come out of it, okay? So I've exported Jesse already. That's one. I'll do maybe four. I'll export Christopher. Christopher is uh, a different body type from Jesse and Brian. Okay, he's a medium weight, uh, medium height, medium weight meta human, whereas these two are tall. Okay, so I'll just deliberately add Christopher there so that you can see the issue in case you make a mistake, you know uh, what caused it. Okay, so I've added Christopher. That's the third one, and I'll add this one here. Okay, this one was created using, um, this one was created using a, a mesh to, not mesh to metahuman. This one was created using mesh to metahuman, so it's a little bit different, okay? And this one was created using, uh, I think it should be called a meta metahuman animator, where you can uh, actually get your own face and put it there. So that's how this one was created. So I'll export this one as well. Oh, I've already exported it. Okay, so I've got four male metahumans. I'll export four females as well. So this one, as I said, was created using uh, mesh to metahuman. So it behaves a little bit different. And this one behaves a little bit different from the original metahumans. So I'll show you uh, what the differences are. Uh, in case you also spot them, uh, you know what caused, caused them. Okay, but first of all, let's complete the process. So yeah, um, that's uh, the second female. Uh, let's export another one. This one. Okay, so here's another disclaimer. Do not use metahumans that have clothing. Okay, these two metahumans have clothing. So the result uh, is going to be a little bit weird especially in the neck area and uh, the thigh area because to prevent overlapping, uh, metahumans have a special material function that uh, kind of pushes the neck inward so that it doesn't overlap with the clothes, okay? And if that is happening in our customization system and we happen to have a clothing that uh, does not cover the neck or does not cover the thighs, then we're going to see some uh, very, very ugly distortion, okay? So just for the sake of you knowing what that looks like, I'll add one with clothing so that you know what it looks like. So when you see it, I don't think uh, it's an error with the, with the customization system. This is a problem with the metahumans. It's not really a problem. It's actually a solution, the reason they do that. But for us, in this particular case, it will be a problem because uh, we can't use that with the meta-customization system. 
And that said, we can use the clothing that MetaHumans come, come with in our customization system. So if you want MetaHuman clothing, pre-made uh, MetaHuman clothing from the MetaHuman creator, you can export MetaHumans with clothing into your project, but just don't use them together with the uh, head customization. Okay. So I've exported those, and the first thing we're going to do is the head cust customization, uh, just so that you see uh, the result of uh, mixing things up. So I'll export one last female MetaHuman here. And let's get started with the process. Um, you are importing a major version. Okay, so this one is a version mismatch. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Uh, no, this one is five point four. Okay, I'm not going to use it at all. I wanted to add it, but uh, I won't use it at all. It might be a big, big problem. I've never tried a 5.4 in this version of Unreal, so I don't want any surprises. I'll use this one instead. It should be correct. Okay. All right, so that's there. Uh, let's begin the process. Um, try and get to, through this quickly. And so we've got our metahumans ready. Um, let's go to our main female metahuman and open it up. Double-click on Hannah there. Open up Hannah's blueprint. And if you remember correctly, um, we set up some heads, but they were all Hannah's head. So it says Hannah face mesh. Um, if you go to the blueprint uh, up to, up at the top where it says female faces, okay. If you can't find that, just type uh, maybe something like change face in the results. Change face. If you don't have that there, then it means you haven't set this up. You should probably be watching a different video, the previous video from this one. So anyway, double click on change face so that uh, you make sure in the, in the right place. And uh, if you remember that one of the last things we did was uh, we added the fa Hanna face to all these faces so that we're not getting the dummy head. So instead of Hanna face, now we're going to swap Hanna face out for a few different meta units. Leave the first one as default if that's the one you want to be the default. Uh, leave the first one as your main meta human head if you want it to be the default head. For the second one, let's choose a different meta human. Uh, we've got Amelia along here. We've got the anime face. We've got Brian, Hannah, Jesse, Kyoko, Christopher, Lenny, Vivian. So let's say when I use Vivian's head as our second meta human head. Let's click here and type Vivian. Okay. You see Vivian's face smash and you see Vivian's body. Just click on Vivian's face. Okay. But we have to set up Vivian's face to use uh, our customization system. So once you've selected it there, click on the search in uh, content browser button. Uh, I don't know why my mouse cursor is not showing. Okay, I'm just going to restart this little app so that the mouse cursor shows. Okay, there it is. Uh, sorry about that. One more time. Okay, let's uh, let's get going. Yeah, we searched for Vivian's face there. It's this one here. Let's open uh, that up quickly. And uh, let's add a customization t system to it. Uh, type post in the details panel. Click on the drop down list. Click add in BP face to it. So that we have the face customization there. Save it. Go back to Hannah. Uh, the Hannah Blueprint, and let's do another one. Um, for the third one, let's uh, type anime, face, or uh, please follow the names of your metahumans, not the names of mine, okay? So my metahuman's name, anime, face, let's choose it. I'll search for it, open it up, and add the customization to it. So I'll type post-process in the... Asset details. I'll choose anime add in BP phase two. Sorry about my barking dog. We'll go for the next one. Um, which other one do you have here? We've got uh, Vivian. Let's type Vivian face there. Let's choose it. 
search for it, open it, type post. Oh, we already did Vivian. Sorry about that. Um, let's type, uh, Amelia Long. I thought we had done Amelia Long and not Vivian. So let's type Amelia. Uh, we don't have to do all of them. If we want, we can just uh, repeat some of these uh, and fill them up with unique ones later on. So let's find Amelia's face and add the customization there. And let's add one more, uh, which is going to be the overweight one. Uh, the overweight one should be, I don't think I added the overweight one. So I'm just going to go back to my Quixel bridge. Because I don't see it here. Go back to my Quixel bridge and add the overweight one just to show you the example of what happens if you mix up the met meta human heads. So the overweight one should be one of these here, Lenny 2. Yes, well, this is the overweight one. I'll export that there. And I do believe that uh, I have the clothing one, Lenny clothing here. Okay. So I'll add Lenny clothing first. So on the next one, I'll add Lenny clothing face. Choose Lenny Clothing Face. I'll search for it. Uh, open it and add the customization system to it. So at this point, you might actually be using a lot of memory um, at 10 GB. It's not going to crash. Uh, maybe when I reach 20 GBs, I'll start running out of memory. But watch your memory, make sure you do not crash your system. If uh, you can't add a lot of meta human heads to your blueprints, then just don't do it. Or maybe upgrade, or just figure out how you can do it without crashing your system. Okay. Um, next, I'll add Lenny2. Lenny2 is the overweight one. I believe you can just browse, browse to it just from here and select it there. Add it there. And open it up and add the facial customization. Um, I guess that's the last one. Let me close in and I need to. Okay. So for the last two, I'm just going to repeat those. You can put some unique ones. But like I said, I want to show you an example of what happens if you add one with clothing and what happens if you add one which is a different body type. So I'll know that these those are my last ones, so they will appear to have errors. Okay. I'll minimize all that. Now actually, let me open and close all of that because I do believe that having them all open and does take up some resources. So let's play and see the result of what we've just done. I'll press Alt P. And uh, it has loaded up. And as you can see, I'm getting a texture streaming pool over uh, 16 megabytes for now. And my textures are no longer showing. Um, that's because uh, having gone through all those meta humans, um, my memory uh, graphics memory has actually run out. So it's uh, not a permanent problem. If I just restart the editor, uh, it should be fine. I won't get that error anymore, even with all the new faces. Uh, reason being, I won't be going through all the faces and all their textures anymore. So I will be fine. So we'll restart the editor in just a second. But now if I scroll through the faces, you can see that I'm getting different types of faces. And you can see that the last faces I added were the ones with the clothing and the different body types. So now, if I use such metahumans, this is going to be the result. As I said, uh, things are going to be mismatched. Okay, this is the overweight one. You can see it's a little bit larger than the body. 
So this is the reason why you shouldn't mix body types. This one, this one is the one that's closing. For now, it's okay, okay? But later on, you'll see the reason why I say don't use a meta-human with clothing. Um, actually, you can use a meta-human with clothing as long as you do not plan on doing anything with that meta-human's textures because the problem will come in when you use that meta-human's textures. As I said, uh, the material has a function that uh, prevents overlapping, okay? So that's what's going to make this one weird. So I'll show you later on what I mean by that. But so far, you can kind of see why I'm saying don't use different body types. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to restart my editor uh, just to get rid of this uh, memory error I'm getting here. And uh, basically, just as I told you guys to do the same thing with the male character, uh, you can also do the same thing to add the heads of the male character to the male. Okay. But for now, I'm going to proceed and I'm only going to be explaining through the female part and then you can do the exact same thing with the male character. Okay. So our, our heads are ready. I'm going to pretend, okay, I'm going to pretend that you have used the correct body types. Okay, so I'm going to assume that since you have used the correct body types, you are not getting uh, the same results that I'm getting where I'm having an error with the connection of the head. Okay, so I've restarted my editor. As you can see, uh, I'm no longer getting that memory error in the corner there. Okay. Okay, so uh, we can move on to uh, the next stage. Um, we can add the eyebrows next, uh, just to have the eyebrows function in there. Um, all these heads we've made. Uh, they can all use the same eyebrows, okay? But uh, right now we're getting a texture error. So after we add the eyebrows, uh, we're going to uh, solve this texture error. Okay, so let's add those eyebrows. Uh, something weird with the eyes. Oh, I'm just going over in the wrong shape. They're just fine. Okay, so uh, let's open up Hannah BP. Uh, your main female metahumans blueprint. Let's add those eyebrows. Uh, just scroll over to next to the faces that we added. There is eye eyebrow grooms. So um, remember, we're using the same eyebrows for each set of eyebrows here. So we have to change it. So let's go scroll down to the second one. Uh, click on the asset and uh, type uh, any of your metahumans' names or a specific one you want. Uh, I want anime eyebrows I'm going to type anime eyebrows there if I can spell that anime eyebrows thick choose that under the binding asset I'll type anime eyebrows again uh, anime eyebrows thick and choose that as the binding do the same thing over here uh, a different meta human's name Amelia Long uh, eyebrows fine. I choose that. I'll type Amelia Long here as well. Eyebrows fine. Groom binding. Uh, groom asset. I'll type Lenny clothing. Okay. Because I know that Lenny clothing is the same body type as everything else. It's just that it has clothing on it. So I know the eyebrows will work. If I use maybe for an over eyebrows for an overweight metahuman, I do not know what will happen. Maybe it won't, won't work, so I just won't do it. So I'll let it close in here as well. Uh, just type in the name of your metahumans uh, and choose a unique this set of eyebrows. And this is the last one. Vivian, let's go for Vivian. I'll type Vivian eyebrows there. 
and some eyebrows messy. I'll type Vivian eyebrows here as well. And I'll choose uh, the eyebrow binding isolate. If your eyebrows are misplaced, it means you probably didn't choose the correct binding isolate. So we're done setting up the eyebrows. We've got five different types of eyebrows that we can uh, that we can go through here. So I'll zoom into the face, and uh, if I scroll through the eyebrows, you can see that I've got different types of eyebrows there. Okay. So yeah, they are all compatible with all my different meta human apps. Okay. Uh, so it was looking a little bit weird there. I just set it to look better. So we're done setting up the eyebrows. Uh, next, we're going to do hair and skin. Uh, so I think we'll do the skin last. Let's start with the hair. So even with the male, setting up the eyebrows, same process. So let's use some, let's add some different hairstyles. So for the hairstyles, we're going to use this, okay? So just click on Edit Meta Styler, okay? Hope you know remember where that's found. Uh, if you've gotten this far, you should be able to find it on your own. Let's go to the search panel under components and type room. So uh, we're going to do maybe four or more different hairstyles for the female, four or more different hairstyles for the male. So there are two separate uh, types of grooms here. We've got groom, one, two, three, four. And we've also got groom, male, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, fives, and so on and so forth. So uh, the ones which do not have a gender at the beginning are female, and the ones which have a gender at the beginning are male. So make sure that you set all your male hair hairs, <coughs> excuse me, make sure that you set all your male hair uh, to be male hairstyles. You might be able to mix them up, but I don't really know what will happen. Okay, you can try that on your own. I don't believe it will work because uh, the binding eyesight, the height is different. Uh, it probably just be a mess. Okay. So for the females, set them all in groom. Okay. So for groom one, groom one can remain on none because uh, I usually like the first slot to be bold. If you want to put a groom asset here, you can put one. But uh, as for me, I'll just leave it as none. Groom two. Groom two already has something on it. That's the afro. Okay, the first afro you see when you click, click play. Uh, and that's the first one here. Okay, this is the afro. So if you want, you can replace this. If you want, you can leave it there. I'll, I'll leave it. Number two also has a hairstyle. Um, so we'll start from, rather number three also has a hairstyle. So we'll start from number four. And I will just choose some different hairstyles from our meta humans. Uh, I'll go for Amelia Lomi's hair first of all. Um, I don't really know where to find the hairs. I guess it's in this folder. Female, female hair, no groom. Uh, I usually don't look for it here. I usually uh, get it uh, just by typing. Uh, the meta human's hair name here, uh, but if you browse to the same folder we just came to, uh, Amelia Long, female hair, uh, female hair, and then hair, uh, you should see it among these lists. Okay, it's called hair, first hair, S Bob Laird. Uh, if it's eyelashes, it will be called eyelashes first. If it's eyebrows, it will be called eyebrows first. You get the point. So look for the ones that just say hair. So I'll choose hair as Bob the Hair. And uh, I'll add it there. Okay. You add it to groom asset. So make sure you're on the correct one. If you're replacing some of those which are already set, you can set it on, on, the, on those. But for me, I'm starting from number four. 
So I've added here a Bob Laird, okay? And I'm also going to have to add a binding asset, okay? So I'll click on groom binding and find the matching groom binding. So here is Bob Laird. Add that to the binding asset. And you're done with that one, okay? Let's go to our next meta human. Uh, I won't use anime. Um, because if you remember, I said that uh, this one was uh, made using uh, mesh to metahuman. So the head shape is a little bit different. So hairs from here will actually uh, overlap with uh, hairs uh, of original metahuman characters. I know that because I've tried it, so I'm just not going to use it. Uh, BP Hannah's hair is not set on any of these hairs. Okay, so let's use BP Hannah's hair. Let's go to her, to the female hair folder. Let's go to the hair folder. And uh, we're going to add the next one on additional groom one. Okay. Choose the hair. Hair S Conrose. Add it there. Find the binding asset. Uh, add it to groom asset. Up there. Find the binding asset. Groom binding. Corn rose, corn rose, S corn rose, just there. Find the binding asset. Make sure you add the binding assets. If you do not add the binding assets, your hair will not move your, with your character. So make sure you do that. And let's add one more hairstyle. Let's go for Lenny. Lenny 2 is overweight, so we're just going to use Lenny clothing because we know it's the same body type. Don't mix. Go for female hair. Go for hair. If you can figure out how to mix everything up and get it to work correctly, because I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it. I'm 100% sure there's a way to do it. So if you want to do, attempt to do it, you can go ahead and do it. Uh, but just but know that straight out the, of the box, it's not going to be compatible. Okay. I'm going to choose hair as up to. Now I'm going to set it on additional groom too. Um, I'm going to look for the groom asset. That's a groom asset. I'll click there to add it. It takes long. I guess it's the first time it's loading. And I'll look for the binding asset. Uh, up to binding asset. Where is it? This one here. Add it to the binding asset. And I'll do one more. So, um, since I've only added six hairs to this, I am not going to uh, add a last one because there will be two more spaces, uh, one more space. I'll leave that one blank. So the first one will be blank. The last one will be blank. Both of them will be bold. Okay. Uh, female hair, hair. Okay, so it looks like uh, the last two will be bored because this particular character does not seem to have a groom for some reason. I guess I must have imported her board. Okay. Okay, uh, we'll just pretend we've added a hair there. Okay. And our result is going to be... Uh, let's click play. Our result is going to be as follows. Uh, it's taking long to load because the first time it's loading these new hairs. Um, let me just drop the height of the character a little bit. And zoom into the head. If I scroll through the hairs now, by clicking on the arrow, as you can see, we've got our different hairstyles. So um, there's a little bit of incompatibility here. As you can see, um, so due to maybe this, you know, not really maybe, but definitely because this metahuman has a much bigger head than uh, the metahuman that is originally using this hairstyle. So look out for that kind of thing. Okay. I believe that's the reason. But this hairstyle actually belongs to the metahuman that has clothing. So that could also have something to do with it because this is the only one I believe that will be incompatible. Or it's not really incompatible, it's just uh, a little bit of overlapping. Let's go to the next one.
Uh, that was the last one. Okay, so yeah, so it's the only one, the one with the metahuman that has a closing. Okay. So maybe it's not a coincidence, maybe that's the reason why. Otherwise, all other hairstyles are just fine. It's just perfect. Okay. So if you do get something like this happening, just choose a different hairstyle from a different metahuman so that you don't have this problem. Um, and the other thing is the color customization is not working here either. That means that the problem is definitely because of the type of metahuman or user. Because uh, on this one, uh, none of the options are really working out the way they're supposed to. So, can't stress it enough. Use metahumans with the same body type. Use metahumans that do not have clothing for this system. If you need metahuman clothing, uh, import them separately. You do not use them in the system. Okay. Uh, I guess we're done with that part. So, um, here is another error I wanted to show you, okay? As you can see, the head is different, okay, from the hair. Uh, extremely different, even much more than uh, that other result we were getting before. Reason being, this face was created using uh, mesh to metahuman, okay? So when you use a face created using mesh to metahuman, you get some... Uh, weird results sometimes. Some of the hair will be fine. Like all these others, these big, big hairs, they're quite okay. But hair which uh, goes through close to the surface of the head is definitely going to uh, overlap. Okay. So be careful when you're using mesh to metahuman because this, the result is definitely going to be a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit weird. Okay, but otherwise, uh, it still works. Uh, you just have to be careful with it. So I'll add a little bit of uh, customization to this uh, because it's looking quite ugly here. Let me try and beautify it a little bit. Try a different one. So as you can see, uh, the mesh created using mesh to metahuman is a little bit more difficult to work with, but it can be worked with because uh, this is actually the main character in the trailer video and I managed to get her looking uh, really, really good. Make it a little bit blue. Not too bad. If I spent some time on this, uh, I could actually come up with uh, some very good looking results. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, we can move on to the next and in the next final step, uh, which should actually make this very character look a little bit uh, better. For now, I'll keep her looking like this, okay? And I'll call this, uh, well, it will be slot one, okay? So if you notice, the moment I switched slots, the skin got messed up. If I move this around, any of these around, it will go back to normal. Uh, but the reason that's happening is because we need to finish setting up our skin material. Okay, so this will be the last stage. Uh, let's now set up our skin material. Okay, I'll exit from there and save it and uh, let's finish this off. So, it, skin material will be set up from the Meta Styler. Okay, uh, choose the Meta Styler. Click on Edit Meta Styler. Uh, maximize that. Well, actually, don't, because I think we'll be using. Excuse me, we'll be using the Content Browser. Okay. 
So in here, under uh, my blueprint, click on search and type skin. Let's start with body. Okay, so type skin, body. Uh, sorry, not skin, but mat material body. Uh, should be mat. Mat body. Okay, body mat one, body mat two, three, four. We have these body materials here. Okay, these are actually empty right now. And that's the reason why we're getting some weird skin material when we're trying to switch switch out our customization lots slots. But we can have up to eight different body materials here. Uh, maybe you want a body material that's full of freckles or a body material that's full of, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe looks old or something like that. Uh, maybe a different skin color, a different skin tone, and so on and so forth. You can have those different types of body materials added here, and uh, you can uh, actually be able to use them uh, to further customize your character. Okay. So I'm going to go for four different body materials for the female. Uh, I'm still working with the female right now. So um, if you look closely, we've got body mat one, two, three, four, and additionals. And then down here, we've got body mat for male characters, male body mat one, two, three, four, and the additional uh, body mats. So all of them uh, actually need to be set up. And uh, once we've set all of those up, um, that's our, our system ready, okay? Uh, you do the male part. Uh, I'll show you how to do it on the female part uh, for the sake of the length of the video. You don't need it to be too long. Uh, so, click on body mat 1. Scroll down to the bottom. Under the details. Uh, what am I seeing here? I'm not seeing the body material. Again, let's click on body mat one. Uh, for some reason, it was showing the room. I have no idea what. All right. So body mat one. I want body mat one to be Hannah's body material. Okay. By default. So I'm going to tap Hannah. And I'm going to tap body. You can use your meta human's name. This is the only one that will appear. Uh, I guess it could be the only one that will appear on your side as well. If you're not sure, just look at the path uh, right next to where my yellow little button is. Just down there it says path, uh, game, meta human, Hannah materials. That's how you know you're using the right one. Since I want it to be Hannah, Hannah's body material. So choose that. For the second one, I'll try and go in alphabetical order. I'll choose Amelia Long. So Amelia Body, choose that. It's just uh, go through that whole process with all of them. For the third one, I'll go for the anime. Body. For the fourth one, I'll go for the next female, which would be Lenny 2. Okay. So Lenny 2 is going to be wrong. So I'm not going to add this on the fourth one. I'm going to add it on uh, maybe the fifth or sixth one. Lenny 2 is going to be wrong. Lenny clothing is going to be wrong. Because Lenny 2 is overweight. Lenny clothing is uh, has clothing on it. So there will be some, uh, some distortions. So I'll go for Vivian on the third one. I mean on the fourth one. I'll choose the fourth one and I'll type Vivian and then I'll keep the ones which I know are going to have errors at the end okay so that we can see what kind of errors using the wrong body type material or using clothing uh, a material for characters who have clothing and we see what it looks like okay so additional mat one I'm going to choose uh, Lenny 2 so I'll type Lenny 2 clothing choose that uh, Lenny to clothe in body in the body material uh, so there's somewhere where there's a typo and this one I'm not seeing the material so it's here so Lenny to body choose that 
And uh, for the for this one, I'll choose Lenny Clothing. I'll select that. Okay, so I know that the last two are going to have errors. Okay, I'll save that. I'll do the same thing for the head material. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and add the male ones in advance if you'd like. I'll do it later on. So I'll close that. I'll type head. Not head, I'll type face. Face mat one, we do the exact same process. And you start with uh, in alphabetical order. Um, or from number two, we'll do it in alphabetical order. Okay, for number one, I'm going to use Hannah face. Well, actually, Hannah head. It still shows up if we type face, but I want it to be correct. Choose the first one. First one. Second one is going to be an LOD. Okay, so just choose the first one. Okay. Make sure you choose the first one for everything else as well. So Amelia will be the second one. I'll type Amelia head. Click on that. Third one, same thing. I'll type anime head. Anime head. Choose that fourth one. Uh, we skipped Lenny. And we skipped any clothing first and we used Vivian. So for the first one, I'll choose Vivian. Head. We'll click on that. And uh, we'll go for Lenny 2 next on additional face mat. Make sure they're in the same order that you created the body material, although otherwise it will be a mismatch. So Lenny 2, head, and Lenny clothing head for the last one. Additional face mat 2. So since we haven't set up additional face masks 3 and 4, uh, we will get probably some weird material there, maybe some mismatching. Uh, you can add more metahumans so that uh, you can have uh, more more options for additional three and four. So let's save and click play. And uh, this should be the female meta human 100% complete if I am not mistaken now. So skin, you should be able to browse the skin skins now. So this is Lenny's skin. This is Amelia's skin. This is anime skin. Should be Vivian. They look the same, but they're not. So uh, I advise you go through uh, some different different uh, skin types uh, when you're choosing the metam humans to add to your project. Don't let them be exactly the same, otherwise they'll look the same. Okay, so now here, this is Lenny clothing, okay, this is Lenny clothing, that's why the thighs are distorted, okay, because Lenny's clothing actually reaches up to here, so in order to avoid overlapping, they distorted the mesh and um, pushed it in so that it doesn't overlap with the clothing, okay. Very, very clever. Saves you a lot of time in terms of creating clothing. Uh, but when you're trying to use a metahuman with this skin material and uh, the clothing you have for it is different than uh, what has been set up, uh, it's not going to work out. For sure, this can be set up to actually work, but uh, I prefer to avoid it altogether and just use metahumans with full skin because they present no problem, as you can see. Okay. And yeah, uh, pretty much this is the process. Okay. I do not believe I have forgotten anything. Um, if you change your skin type, you will have to scroll on the tattoos and the skin tit again. 
okay, either one of them, in order to bring back your skin tint. Because when you change the skin type, uh, that will disappear, okay? So, but if I just click on the tattoos, uh, it will come back. And uh, the skin tone is going to be according to whatever character material you're using. Okay, it could be light, it could be dark. You can darken it a bit manually using this bar. But it's definitely going to look different uh, from... It's definitely going to look different from uh, uh, whichever skin material you were using before. As you can see here, this skin material looks different. Quite frankly, I think this one looks better in the darker tone. Um, I believe uh, there's one more thing I have to show you. Uh, let me just uh, choose a clothing asset because I want the chest area to have nothing so that I can show you what happens with if you use the skin material of a metahuman, which is all white. This one is for the clothing as well. Uh, so you can see uh, at the chest area, we've got that uh, mismatch as well. Okay. Uh, and uh, I guess in this particular case, this one is the overweight skin material, but I don't see any errors. So I guess uh, we don't have any problem there. Well, that works for me. So, yeah, this is uh, the process that you can use to set up your uh, metahumans for uh, customization uh, in this project file. Um, I don't believe there's anything I've missed here. So you can go ahead and play with your customization, do as you wish with it. You can switch out your faces, uh, can come up with some very, very beautiful uh, metahumans. Um, you do the exact same thing for the male that we have done with the female here. Uh, just follow the exact same procedure and you should be go. You would be good to go with your male metahuman as well. Okay. So uh, I think we'll end this tutorial here. Um, and uh, for our next tutorial, uh, the next two tutorials, we are going to look at adding uh meta human clothing okay because this is custom clothing here uh, especially if you want to use a different body type uh what's going to be very very useful for you is uh adding meta meta human clothing because i did i do not provide clothing for any other body type other than tall medium weight body types um it's a lot of work to provide all that clothing it would take decades so um uh you can use original meta human clothing uh for that process and uh, I should have that tutorial uploaded within the next uh, if if I do a, a tutorial for creating a new game customization screen uh, tomorrow then you will get that first and then you will get the meta human clothing tutorial uh, probably the day after so within three days of posting uh, this video you should have a tutorial that shows you how to how you can uh, add meta, meta human clothing. Maybe as a very, very quick example, I can just show you a little bit of how you would go about doing that before we end the video. It's really, really fast. Um, basically, all you have to do is open up the meta styler and uh, go search for, for example, if you want a pair of shoes a, a different pair of shoes or metahumans than what I've provided. Maybe one you downloaded on the marketplace or somewhere else or uh, a pair of shoes that comes with a, a metahuman. Say you've installed a metahuman clothing. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to look for slippers. So first of all, just choose shoes one. Okay, or choose two. And um, we've also got shoes for males. Uh, okay, so don't choose shoes one or choose, choose two. I was a little bit confused there. Uh, sorry, I haven't prepared for this. Um, female shoes one, female shoes two, female shoes three. Female shoes two, we already have boots there. 
So let's go for female shoes three and type flip-flops. Uh, flip-flops are for metahumans. I'm sure about this because uh, that's what they come with uh, when you have no clothing. Okay, I'll show you the clothing part later on. But let's say the flip-flops are part of the metahumans clothing, maybe a pair of pants or a shirt or something like that. So you select female shoes three and uh, you add the flip-flops there. And you save that and basically you're done with the process, okay? You've added a new pair of uh, shoes to the shoes session, okay? Uh, let's say I want to add a top uh, just for a metahuman which already has a top in here, okay? Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what the top is called, so I'll probably have to open up the blueprint, but I can type tops here. Tops, female top one, has nothing. Top two has uh, some clothing. Top three has some clothing. Four has some clothing. Five has nothing. Okay. So you can actually remove everything that's already here and replace it with your own stuff. But uh, I want to open up BP Lenny clothing so that I can find her top. And uh, this is her top here. Okay. So it's called uh, Chronic. Okay. So I'll just search for it so that it's there in my content browser. I'll go back to my meta styler and for top five, I'll add that chrono up there. Okay, it's added. It was taking long for nothing. So it's added. I'll minimize this. I'll click play. Hopefully I haven't overused my memory. And so it's compiling there. So now if I come to my character and uh, I click on clothing, tops, um, I'm not going to see it here, but I know that it's the fifth one I added. So this is actually an empty one. It should be this one here. And we've added a metahuman uh, original clothing there. Okay. Um, you can also browse them by click clicking on the arrows. And there you are, okay. Uh, for the bottoms, I can add the skirt. Now, these are not compatible, so there's a little bit of uh, overlapping. So I advise you use meta-human clothing with meta-human clothing rather than mixing the mixing it with other stuff. Some of it will work, this works. I don't know if it works all the way around. Yeah, this works. And uh, yeah, uh, basically that's how you can add that. 